Lieutenant Governor Newsom, good to have you with us. Great to be here, thanks for having me. Take us back, it's almost nine years to the day, yeah. 2004, these marriage licenses began to be issued in San Francisco. You had just gotten into office. <laughs> what got into you, what were you thinking? Uh, the, I went to the State of the Union. Uh, Nancy Pelosi made a terrible mistake uh, by giving me her husband Paul's ticket uh, to watch the State of the Union by George Bush. And I sat there slightly bewildered up in the audience, uh, listening to the issues of the day, abstinence, drug testing, steroid abuse, it ended with with uh, and the idea that indeed he was going to fulfill his private commitments now made public around a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage. marriage. Yeah. And it occurred to me that, you know, at that moment that we had to respond. As mayor of San Francisco, I felt an obligation. Uh, the question was how. Yeah. So you, you just decided, I think it was a Thursday or Friday, and people started lining up. And it seemed to sp kind of spring it came on suddenly. No one was well, warned. I mean, were, what kind of conversations did you have with the city attorney, the attorney general? No, it was not. It, this was done in a very deliberative way. We went through a very thoughtful process. Every memo we put together was done in the context of a legal case that was being made. We had uh, folks from NCLR. Uh, we had other folks that were organized in this effort. We had private attorneys. Because uh, I'll say respectfully, it was a little bit of friction in, within City Hall over the city attorney's office. And I and should just say NCLR, National Center for Lesbian Rights. Yeah. We talked about what we can do, and we organized a very principled effort because we knew ultimately this would lead to litigation, and we wanted to put a human face on it. There were a lot of critics, of course. Some of them, and starting with the governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> who talked about, I think, chaos in the streets in San Francisco <laughs> the at the time on Meet the Press, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but there were some surprising critics. Barney Frank, yeah. uh, the openly gay congressman yeah. from Massachusetts, saying it was diverting attention from the real gay rights struggle. Yeah. What Of all the criticism you got, which what hurt the most? Oh, the Democratic criticism and the private criticism criticism uh, and the fact that a lot of my friends who said all giving me the same advice and truly you ask what's the advice you'd give as a, a newly elected mayor they said well do what you think is right and then when you actually do what you thought was right, all of a sudden they say, wait a second, hold on now. Uh, you need to ask for permission, and there's a process here. And that was ultimately the protocol issue with Frank and others, is they expected permission, that somehow, who are you? You're new to the scene. We've been at this for uh, decades, and they have been. And you're Legends. straight. And I'm straight, and, I'm, and that's an issue. That was an issue, too. It's like, who gives this guy the right to be to that speak advocate? For us and to set speak our for us. agenda. And, and the interesting thing, a lot of the members of the gay community, particularly the larger national organizations, they weren't ready for this fight, they weren't even thinking about this fight. I mean, remember in 2004, we were barely entering into the debate around civil unions, having gone through that half decade around domestic partnerships. Gay marriage was never on the radar screen in the, during the mayoral debates and the issues around who's the next mayor of San Francisco. So it was a it was a tough issue for a lot of folks. You mentioned. Uh President Bush, George W. Bush, in his reelection, he of course won in 2004, and it came down to Ohio, which had a gay marriage ban on the yeah. on the ballot. And the day after the election, I believe, Senator Dianne Feinstein, yeah. one of your close friends, yeah, said it is. blamed you in a sense, said it was yeah. too much. People weren't ready for it. You know, I get it. You know, a lot of folks felt that same way. Terry McAuliffe, head of the party, all but blamed the election on the action. So I get it. Now with that, the dust settled, and they did uh, as they do with the exit polls. They analyzed those exit polls, and you saw it was. You know, there was 10 issues. Social issues was number five uh, behind the issues, uh, other issues. And interestingly, it broke both ways. Enthusiastic for Bush, enthusiastic yeah. for Kerry. But you say the dust settled, but, you know, fast forward 2007, 2008, Senator Barack Obama running for president comes to San Francisco to raise money. And word was he didn't want to be photographed. Yeah, I was. Uh, was that was, true? I was, <laughs> was Willie, Willie Brown, myself, Kamala Harris. We're, we're, we're doing those two fundraisers for him. Uh, one uh, downtown a restaurant, another one a Western edition. And yeah, he had strong opinions. A lot of folks had strong opinions. And their was advisors, it strong opinions or was he worried about it? Everyone being? was worried. Everyone. I mean, I, you know, I was, I had that brief moment where you're, you know, the, the new person and the rising star, and I was going to go to Boston during the convention and speak, and all of a sudden, you know, McCall up and there's folks are saying, yeah, and I said, I get it, I get it. Yeah. And so all these yeah. folks that were surrounding me, enthusiastic, moved aside, and to your point, that was more hurtful than the predictable yeah. opposition of folks like uh, Schwarzenegger. So fast forward from 2004, 2008, the state Supreme Court says gay marriages go okay. You hold a press conference. Uh, and rather famously said, yeah. uh, whether you like it or not, <laughs> yeah, not uh, my, gay marriage not is my coming. Best moment. Would you have done that differently? Yeah, of course. It was interesting. It wasn't my press conference. It was the, it was the city attorneys. And frankly, I didn't anticipate winning. I was stunned. 
And I sat there with this energy and intensity and what this meant to so many people. And they said, We're, the city attorney's having a press conference, come on downstairs. And I got caught up in that moment. And I also was talking about the history of the rights movement, where whether you like it or not, over the objections of the majority, this country has always fought for the rights of minorities, whether we like it or not. So the rift yeah. went there and yeah. obviously was yeah. used quite effectively yeah. in that campaign. Living through history. It's uh, you know, a remarkable history in this country. We ultimately, as Dr. King said, that arc of history bends towards justice. We eventually get it right. And in this respect, uh, you know, the words were wrong. They were in, uh, inartful, whether you like it or not. But you know, the majority is not always necessarily there. But I think now the majority of Americans are on same-sex marriage. I think it will make it a lot easier. Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, thanks so much. Thanks for having me.